What up, y'all? Welcome back to the first annual Vintage Cube Invitational. I will be the only player in it. Hope I win. I don't know what we're going to do. I have no idea what to pick here, I'll be honest with you. Ancestral, Council's Judgment. Could take a Scarab God. I like a Scarab God. And we get a Jace. Done. <laughs> Splinter Twin and Conscripts in the same pack. Uh, Phyrexian Metamorph, also pretty good. We're going to just take Jace here. That's solid. That's a solid start. Oh, I like a Flooded Strand. I think Psalm Simulacrum is good, but Flooded Strand being an on-color fetch... <clears throat> It's just really good. It's also quite likely Vindicate will come back because no one ever takes Vindicate. No one's ever black-white. I like a dig through time. Colgon's Command also pretty decent. Shambling Vent goes well with our Flooded Strand if we want to be white. We're definitely not an Armageddon deck, eh? Eh? You know, buddy. Come on. You know we're not taking no Armageddon. <laughs> I don't know. Shambling Vent, Dig Through Time, or Colagon's Command? <sighs> I like shambling, it goes well, it keeps us open. I'm gonna take the shambling vent. Time spiral. Interesting. I mean, time spiral is the best card in this pack by a lot. Someone said dig through time, someone said Coligon's command, and I took literally the third card. I'm gonna take Actually, swords is good if we are white. Jeez. I'm gonna take time spiral. We could take Nart. We could still get a Narset. We could get a Leovold and 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 go go green. Probably not gonna get a Leovold and go green. I'm gonna take Sower. I like Sower. Sower is a good answer for certain things. There's like through the breaches and not not through the breach, but uh like channel and things of that nature where you're like, oh, well, I can steal your blight steel. Do they have Narset out? No, there's there's a Narset. Torrential Gear Hulk. I do like a Torrential Gear Hulk early that we can build around. <clears throat> this is not a pack one pick one, so I'm just going to take Torrential Gear Hulk and we'll see where we can lead. I've never cared much for Moonlit Skies. I've never winked back and fireflies. <coughs> Alan Cron, don't care about you. I'll just take Dark Slick Shores, I guess. Also, Lingering Souls. Yeah, I want the Dark Slick Shores. Oh, Council's Judgment came back? See, that's actually pretty nice. If I took the Lingering Souls, I, I would consider the Ogmoth, but I think we're just square in the uh <clears throat> in the Esper column. Let's see if that Vindicate comes back, huh? I got a good feeling about it.
<coughs> Isaiah MTG, happy Friday, buddy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gideon? I don't hate Gideon. Oh, Zealous Conscripts came back. Jeez. Someone's going to get lucky. Still take the Gideon. The Gids. <coughs> oh, look, the Vindicate came back, just like Papa Franku suggested it would. Gotti. <clears throat> oh, Colagon's coming back again. Jeez. I'm not going to play Tithe Taker, but I will take this just in case we end up being red. I don't think it's going to happen. <clears throat> oh, Concealed Courtyard. Two of my favorite lands. We got Dark Slick and Concealed. <clears throat> Pack Rat. Packrat's actually pretty decent. We can discard something to reanimate with a Scarab God. Discard the Torrential Gear Hulk. You know, Finks might have been fine. Oh, a Goblin Dark Dwellers. Okay, nothing super exciting here. I do like an Orzhov Signet. With the hope that either Counterspell, Elspeth, or Cryptic Command comes back. Even Liliana's actually not bad. Yeah, we're just taking Signet. On color Signet's just really nice. Scrubland? I mean, like, I would definitely take Time Twister here, but we already have Time Spiral, and Scrubland is just a land we can get with Flooded Strand, making it a tri land. So, not passing a Scrubberino. <clears throat> also, if, um. Toxic Day. That, I mean, these, those pack was, that pack is good. Like, uh, Toxic Daily is going to be nice if it comes back. God, I love a Consecrated Sphinx. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. <clears throat> this pack's good. Kiki-Jiki, Natural Order. I mean, we're taking Consecrated Sphinx because we're not... We're not dumb. But, again, that's a really decent pack. If Karn comes back, uh, we could get Kaya. We could get... I'm trying to think what else is in that pack. Look, it was good, okay. Hollowed Fountain? Nice. Our man is gonna be juice. <clears throat> Could take Arid Mesa there, but I like having a Oh, I like a mana leak here. <clears throat> also go to Torrential Gear Hulk. Disenchant's also nice, but we have Vindicate Council's Judgment, so. Day of Judgment. I I like a I like a Gaunti here though. This deck's looking sweet so far. I'm okay with it. Caught like three streams this month. What up, Arctic Avenger? <clears throat>
Michael, they're coming for you. Oh, we got a Wrath of God and a Damnation in the same pack. <clears throat> How many white sources do we have? One, two, three, four, black, five. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so probably going to go with the white. We actually only have one double black card. I'm probably just going to go with Wrath of God. <clears throat> oh, I like an Amiria's call. That's just a freebie. Exhum? We're not going to be... This is not an Exhum deck. Okay, so Elspeth Conqueror's Death and Cryptic Command and Liliana came back. We're taking Elspeth Conqueror's Death here. Triple Blue is ambitious even for us. <clears throat> uh, Leopold came back. That's fascinating. We're not going to play Leopold. We're going to take Toxic Deluge here. Maybe we can put Wrath of God on the sideboard for now. Oh, Oblivion. Oh, the Kaya came back? I actually love Kaya in this format. Like, she just exiles so many things. Uh, take Unexpectedly Absent, I guess. Oh, Disenchant? Yeah, I'll take a Disenchant, sure. I like the way this is looking so far. I do feel like we're, we're a little bit behind with only 16 playables. That is 8 per pack, though, so if we get 7 in the next pack... I mean, I like Chorus of Portal here. I don't think we're Force of Willing. We only have like five, one, two, three, four, five, eight blue cards. I mean, I guess that's a good amount. I think Chorus of Portal Portal's probably the pick here. Ravages, huh? <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh my God. Arctic Avenger with the gifted sub to MTG Bot. Appreciate it, buddy. Could take Looter. I really want another Signet because we have a lot of five drops here. And four drops, which could also take care of a... I think we're just going to play Tig Course of Portal here. <clears throat> oh, wow. Ask and you shall receive. Azorius Signet. I love a Karn, but I'm definitely taking second on-color Signet here. Oh, Treachery. Okie dokie. Well, that'll do, pig. Oh, Tundra? Okay, wow, they're really coming to get me now. I also like Time Warp as well. We have a lot of five drops. I mean, if Remand or Time Warp come back, 
I'm I'm gonna be pretty okay with it. I'm gonna take the tundra though. It's just too good, especially when we have flooded strand. Like, plus our deck has a that's a late channel. No one like respects the channel. It's really weird. Just gonna take Ophiomancer here. I mean, alternatives like Thassa's Oracle or Linvala. I don't mind having earlier plays though. I guess it's Banishing Light here. Could be Shriek Maw for two mana. Um, we're not we're not an upheaval deck, <laughs> unfortunately. Could be Stone Coil Serpent. We have Kolagon's command. We actually could take Flooded Strand and splash it off of, uh, or Volcanic Island and splash it off our Flooded Strand. I don't know if that's any good though. Could just be Banishing Light, but we already have Council's Judgment and Vindicate. I kind of like Stone Coil here, actually. Maybe that's weird. I don't know. Steam Vents is interesting. <laughs> oh, Volcanic Island into Steam Vents. Definitely could have been splashing Kolagon's Command here. I'm just going to take Charter Course, though. Badlands. <laughs> Definitely could have splashed Kolagon's Command here. Wow, this is actually kind of hilarious. <laughs> I mean, we can't search for this with... Uh, with our flooded strand, but nevertheless, it's either Choops or Cosima. I actually haven't minded Cosima that much, but I do think Choops is the correct pick here. Oh, a Duretti? Hmm, interesting. This Doretti's too good. I'm actually going to take it in case any of those lands come back. I don't think we care about a looter here, so. I also don't think we're Torrential Gear Hulking here. What do we have for Torrential Gear Hulk? Mana Leak? And that's it. Yep. Torrential Gear Hulk. Torrential Gear Hulk consistently unimpresses me in the, uh, in the cube. All right, so you're a gear hulk. That don't impress me much. Huh, huh. Um, I kind of like Elspeth here, maybe. Seagate Stormcaller, what is what is this even target? Like literally Mana Leak or Charter Course and Mana Leak is not a good one. I'll take actually Baneslayer seems better. Or Dismember. Let's take a Dismember. Oh my god, Baleful Strix, Wield. Oh boy, that's a nice one. I'm going to take this Kozilek so no one else can have it. Well, I'll, you know, we'll just take... Uh, I actually will take Linvala. Linvala is actually pretty good against certain certain strategies. Sure, we'll take a kith. Give me a kith. Okay, I mean, this is 24, so we need one cut. I think it's actually Time Spiral. I don't think Time Spiral does anything for our deck. Our mana base looks great, though. 
This is nine creatures. I think that's actually pretty decent. Oh, and we get an Emirius call as well. That's kind of sweet. I almost forgot about it. I don't know how many planes we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe like one plane just to search for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not including signets. Three, four, five, six, seven, not including signets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Definitely doing that. Oh, and we have a Mirrors call too. So hold on. Two, four, three is what we're looking at. Okay, we're going to go white, white. This is all colors. Can move these over there. Okay, so. Okay. Let's add our lands. Definitely one here, one here. So blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. White, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Black, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We get one more land. Uh, these are both white. <laughs> maybe, I might even take, maybe I might even take this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight nine. I think it's I think it's another island. I don't I don't think we need the planes, but this costs triple white. And if we get rid of this, then we only have like if we're if we're planning on casting this, we have to draw three of our six white sources. So it's kind of rough. Um like I also do like the ability to search for it. I'm gonna put this back now. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine and nine. I don't like having five islands in the deck because I feel like we draw too many islands, but it might be fine here. Plus a lot of we have double white, double white, double white. Like the three three of the white cards we have are doubles as well. So I wanna make sure like we have enough white to cast these things. All right, we're gonna have one more blue. Right now, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten white sources. I like this a lot. And this is 16 lands plus an Amiria's call. Okay, Esper Cheons over here, guys. No blue sources, huh? <laughs> Let's play the more islands than any other source of mana. Okie dokie, well. I mean, we kept this hand because we don't really have a ton of broken things to do. We don't have like Ancestral or Time Walker. 
anything of that nature. So it's it's not like we're going to get a hand that has like Soul Ring Mana Vault in it. And we're going to be up ramping stuff out. We're just kind of playing mid rangey things. I mean, this is 100%. Oh, it resolved. Okay. I was like, there's 100% there's getting countered. And then it didn't get countered. And I was like, oh, wow. Okay, that seems fine. Blue source? Oh, a course of portal was nice. She getting up there. Man, I wish I could draw an, uh, a Teferi here. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. That's a good dude. Uh, homage. Homage, yo. Give me that thing. Oh, I guess they're going to get to draw a dude. A good dude for me to poop on. That's from, uh, you know, the... Urza. Whoa, I can eat that with Kaya? That's cool. <laughs> I hope they don't use it. But they're going to use it. They didn't use it? Oh, they used it. I mean, I can eat your construct too, right? So, yeah, all this is fine. I can eat your germ. I can eat all the things. I'm an eater. They see me eating. Mom, oh, do they just they just spin the wheel and play a gilded lotus? That seems good. Gotta go back to work. Isaiah, have a great work, buddy. I'll try to have a great stream if you have a great work. <laughs> shortening, shortening, mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Oh, they didn't attack, huh? Where did your germ go? Show me that germ. Show me that germ. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sphinx. Pass the turn. Oh, yeah, give me them cards. Chase the Mind Sculptor. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, how nice. Wow, how lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. So long, consecrated Sphinx. I like it when you guys you guys call things Sphinx or Sphinx. What what's what do you guys say? Either way, you're wrong. Oh. Wow, Shark Typhoon and Karn off of your Urza. This is the one of the best Urzas I've ever seen. That's it's really good. It's really good. You did really good for yourself. Uh, yep, sure. You got it. Emery of the Loach. Oh, Grim Model from the Trigger Mage. I don't foresee us getting back Trinket Mage here. Oh, I like a Dismember. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're just going to kill this guy. Okay, it's not, it's not ideal. It's not great. What do we got here? Actually, we can kill this, bounce this, hit Karn. That seems decent. I feel like we're living the dream here. They also only have one card in their hand. So we have one, two, three mana. Okay. Oh, uh, we can't eat Emery. That's not a thing that we could do. This only exiles creatures with permanent with cost one or less. Emery costs three, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Batter Skull every turn to make a 5-5 five, five is pretty good, but we still have three more activations from Kaya. Oh, I mean, if, if Kaya was was power one or less, I would have gotten rid of Urza like 14 turns ago. Oh, Blightsteel Colossus. Back in the dick. Um, Anything we care about? Trinket Mage doesn't get us anything, so... Bottom. Omagio. Wish I had a time walk here. 
They have one card in hand. I mean, we could neg both of these to, to put both of these away. I mean, yeah, we could just play Pack Rat and make a bunch of rats. I'm sure that is fine. I mean, let's start with the Baleful Strix, I guess. It's a lot of lands. Bounce this thing. Exile this thing. I mean, we're also just attacking for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, until 13. Could have been 10 if we also attack with a shambling vent. Actually, I think it was lethal if we played Signet and attack with Shambling Vent. These would have been both 5-5s. Five but I think they're just dead on upkeep, right? We can just get back two creatures, so I think we're still fine anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, let's just pass. I mean, I think we're just... I, I, I think there's like four different ways we could have win. We could have win. We could have won. So we're definitely bringing in Disenchant, in case you guys weren't sure. And all right. Man, Kolagon's Command, MVP. I think we'll take out Deluge. I don't foresee us needing to Deluge. We also have like... Vindicate and Council's Judgment, which we didn't see. Man, both of these would be fantastic. I'm wishing we took it, pick up those three lands. Good show, good show. I think Linvala might be... Well, Chupacabra's just going to kill. I think it's probably better than, than Sower. Maybe? I don't actually know. I mean, like, we get to... One of them lets us steal an Urza, the other one lets us shut off an Urza. But if we're just... If we're if we're not letting our opponent use the Urza either way, I'd rather it be under my control. Plus, like, the only ways we've seen for them to get rid of a creature is, like, Karn. So that's going to deal with both of these equally. So I think Sower is probably a little better here. What do we see? We saw Emery too, though. I guess it shuts off both. It's also a better attacker. Yeah, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna play Linvala here. See, this is a good one. Double white, double black, or double white and double blue, which is exactly what we need here. All right. Me too. Me too. Oh, now we need double black. Uh, Kerwit lives in Seattle, so. Oh, boy. As long as it's not... Oh, that's really good. Not for them, but, you know, for us. <laughs> oh lord get that mana vault so we know you have blight steel in hand and you just wasted these so that's kind of like a three for one no I guess it's not because you got the blight steel for free
Oh, I like, see, like, I like dark slick shores here. And we're going to put back, we're going to play Ophiomancer and keep up Dismember here. Let's put Snake and Treachery back. Play this. One, two, three, Ophio. Go pour yourself a nice drink. Oh, what a grim monolith. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. We're definitely killing the monolith. Yeah, we're just going to draw three here. I want to see what I hit before I Vindicate. Okay, we can actually get rid of some things. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like we can get rid of Dismember and Stony Boy. Get a tundra here. One, two, three. Kill that thing. I assume you're gonna top in response. I should have actually okay, so what I should have done, which I'm just realizing now, is I should have done that. I was I was like, well, I don't want to plus Jace because then they'll just top again in response, right? Because I'll have three mana. But I should have made them top and then went to the next phase and then jace them to see what they what we can get. So And we, we got rid of Dismember just because I don't feel like they can play it. Like, if they play like an Urza, we'll just steal it. And, uh, you know, Treachery is... I don't foresee them playing that many creatures here, so... See, that's one of them. But also that gets shut off by Linvala, so... So we have seven mana. Kind of just tempted a Gonti and bounced their Emery. And next turn we'll have nine mana so we can play Scarab God and, and bring something back. Oh, I actually need two black for that. I mean, one thing they can do is, is prevent us from getting, like, the best card on top by putting top on top. Sure. Gilded Lotus it is. Man, I almost did them a favor there. Let's start getting in there. I doubt they're going to be able to deal with Gonti and Ophiomancer. So another hand is Blightsteel and Emery. I'm 
to steal that dude. I imagine when I cast Treachery, that's going to be the end of the game. Can I have this guy? You got it. Okie dokie. One, two, three, four. Let's see what you got. Uh, Misha's Workshop. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of mana for you. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Play Gilded Lotus. One, two, three. Oh, we can actually put something back and then play it for free next turn. That's kind of cool. Like, we can actually just stack our... Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. That's not how Urza works. I always forget Urza shuffles just like Mind's Desire, which makes total sense. We would have drawn Elspeth Conquer's Death, and then we would have drawn Gideon. Okay. I feel like that went well. Hunter's over here licking his feet. Oh, what up, the real Scythe? Urza not shuffling. We see. I agree. I agree. You're like, all right, I'll uh, preordain. Oh, Amrakul. Okay, tap five. Real the top card. Wonder what it is. Oh, look, it's. Oh, it's an Amrakul. And that was the end. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll keep it. Sounds good. Oh, uh, I never went back to streaming Hearthstone. Not to say I, I actually love Hearthstone. It's one of my favorite um, digital card games. But it's just hard because I don't have the audience for it, you know? That's what's known as a win, win, win. <laughs> Five dollars for a 3-0? Oh, baby. Okay, well, this is a good start. I would love to draw a day. Okay, we're definitely bringing in a... Uh, what's that card? S Smith of Snord? Something like that? Was it? I forgot the name of the card. Wrath of God? Is that what it's called? It was indeed Wrath of God. It's only seven damage. It's okay. It's okay. We don't have a second white or a second black here. This is stupid. I mean, we did draw the, we, we did draw the, the thing. All I want is a white source. Like, a, let me get a, let me get a, let me get that scrubland. That would be nice. Okay, now I really want the scrubland. Please, please. Was that a two for two? Was that a two for two that we just did? 
Did we just say deluge into Scrubland and then they they're both there? Can someone tell me the odds of that? We had 31 cards in our deck drew the right card. 30 cards in our deck drew the right card. One out of 31, then one out of 30 back to back. That's the that's the that's the that's the rate. I don't. I'm I'm actually a little freaked out right now. Like that's kind of weird. They have one card. Okay. Okay. the best use of our mana here like i want to just get gideon on the board and kill the soldier and then next turn we can counsel's judgment the elspeth or we can just attack the elspeth i guess the alternative is keep ravenous chupacabra back and counsel's judgment no i want to next turn we can play both of these I mean, fingers crossed, mana tie is not your last card, and it's just a stupid land instead. Oh my god! Oh, wow. That's okay. You call two in a row, you deserve to not play your Gideon. Yep, that's pretty bad. Yep, okay, that was... That was just... That was just terrible. 6.4 seems, seems way higher. Okie dokie, we're going to one now. That's terrible. Ugh, God, I can't believe I just fucking passed the turn without even activating Gideon. What an actual dumb shit thing to do. Eh, that's fine. God, I'm so mad at myself right now. Well, everybody's on board now. We got a flying blocker. We got an Ophiomancer. We got a death touch token and a giddy. I mean, like, I feel like we're okay, but being at five instead. Consecrated Sphinx. It's actually not bad. This is nice because you just force them to attack Gideon and then our snake eats him. I can't think of a way they can give this guy flying, so that's good. <laughs> Gotta get eaten. Are we just... Are you, do we just win next turn? Three, four... Yeah, I think we just win if they don't have anything. Two, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. This is lethal on board without even having to discard to the to the snake. Two, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Plus we have a Gideon holding back. Because if they go resto, I don't want to like die to their resto. Okie dokie. Well, that that did it. Let's bring in Wrath of God. <laughs> 
Wee! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Stone Cold is actually pretty good because they can't get around it with their stupid mama. With your stupid mama. I kind of just want to take out Manalik. I think, I mean, like, good, 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 good. Like, we have mono removal here. Like, removal, death touch, removal, 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 death touch, removal, 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 death touch, uh... Removal, removal, removal. Just a solid threat. I think Manalik can come out. Okay, so... Double black and double white here. So, I mean, like, if we draw any of our sweepers or removal... I don't love it. But I'm going to keep it because we got Shambling Vent. You got it. <laughs> like the Shambling Vent was maybe keep it. I'm like, you know why I kept this? Because of Shambling Vent. That doesn't really make any sense, but that's okay. Oh. Now we're talking. We get to kill your mama? Buddy, I'm going to straight murder your mama. Oh, he drew a blue source? Fudge, yeah, bro. Uh, one. One or Oh, your mama died. Oh, your mama died. And we can also Jace bounce this thing if we hit out of blue. That's cool. Little do they know we got a got a thing in our deck too. I'm just gonna play coercive portal here. That thing flies, and I just want to get to my second blue source here, and I just want to fill my hand when they don't have any pressure on board. I'm gonna name homage. Homage, yo. Oh, Vindicate? Oh, I, oh boy. Uh, we're doing all the things. So next time we can just get to play Consecrated Sphinx. Okie dokie. We could kill one of their lands, but eh, what does that do? Oh, I like... Do I like Flicker Wisp? We can blink our own Gideon? Oh yeah, that's for sure. That's what we're doing. This is what I sub for. What up, Tiger Nate? Good seeing you, my dude. Okie dokie. Homage, y'all. Oh boy. So we can flicker wisp. Okay, this is actually almost this is almost too good. Boom. Thank you. Kadeen, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Man, Kaya kills three of your permanents on the board. Four if you consider the one we've already killed. Oh, Skyclave Apparition or a Brimaz? It's got to be Skyclave Apparition. Man, they are getting aggressive today. 
Do you think we got a second color? No. Oust. Uh, I'll gain three. Surely. Oh, they're going to flip Kithian. Got it. Thank you. Oh, okay. 28, that's higher than Mike B can count. God damn. Um, I'm going to block here because I don't want you to either make a token. I want you to use the mana. Yeah, that's fine. You get my Kaya. But then I get to get rid of this with the Skyclave Apparition. Oh, treachery. A, a card I do not care to cast right this second. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so we can actually go Skyclave, your Kithian, Gideon, whatever the hell your name is. And then Jason bounce this. It seems fine. Um, well, let's see what we're going to get with this first. I th think we're just getting an island, to be quite honest. I don't really want a hollowed fountain. Two, three. Thank you. Gaming champ, thank you for the reset, buddy. 31 months? My God. My God. And... Let me just play Jace Bounce the Spirit. Not even, I mean, I don't even feel like attacking for Gonti. Like, if they have a removal spell for a Skyclave, like, if they can bounce this, then Jace just takes one for no reason. Here comes a Sun Titan. So, that's good, too. I gotta Vindicate, though. Uh, not really. Not, not, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm also, like, drawing a million cards a turn. Like, this... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. What up, Zimity Pot? Today we are th two one three times. Two one twice. I want to hit a land. Look, we did it. Gidinjora. Gidinjora. So we broke our 1 2 streak, thankfully. I mean, this is this is like the best thing we could possibly treachery here, right? So, one, two, three, four, five. Steal you. That's probably gonna be game, right? No. One, three, four, five. Hmm. Fascinating. Let's play old Strixie boy. Play our land for the turn. Make Gidgeon a dude. Let's see if we have a lethal six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, that would be that would be crazy. Hmm. 
I mean, I'm gonna be honest. There's really nothing like one, two, one, two, three, one, two. There's like nothing I even care to play right now. Like, I don't need the cards from Consecrated Sphinx. I don't need Pack Rat. I don't need to vindicate it or dismember anything. Like, I have three removal spells in hand, and like, it's just not Flicker Wisps. Hero of Blade Hold. Well, if you're gonna be like that, I see. So we're gonna dismember the Flicker Wisp, vindicate the Blade Splicer, and exile the Elspeth Conqueror's Death. And then we're probably just going to kill them. There's just so many cards. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot of cards. Don't be sleeping on course of Portal, guys. It'll get the job done. Oh, we got him. He's like, I'm going to wait and see if they attack with everything. Oh, you did? Okay, I'll concede. Bing, bing. Bing, ding, ding, bing. Bing, ding, 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 ding. And then we waited for the other round. Guys, can we can we three O? Can we get a three O today, guys? Oh, this looks good. This'll look a good. Wish we were on the play, but we're not. We do need a second blue eventually. Well done, well done. <laughs> Man, Monsanto, I really appreciate your support, buddy. Oh boy, something's happening. A tireless tractor. Uh... I think this is more important to get down. Hey, we found the second blue source. I think we're good on mana sources right now. You're a 3 in my heart. That's all that matters. I'm the scat man. Zip it up, dip it up, dip dip dip. As up, dip it dip. Skip it up, dip it up, dip it dip. Hmm. <sighs> I 
We can play Ophiomancer, we can keep up Mana Leak, or we can play Signet in order to Gideon Jura next turn. They only have three mana. Four mana, I guess. Let's keep up Mana Leak here. They're not doing anything, and plus, like, next turn we can go Signet Ophiomancer. And then eventually we can play Amiria's Call. Yeah, stupid non-blue signet. Why can't you be an Azorius signet? Um, yeah, we're definitely getting rid of that guy. You think they got another land? Probably they got five cards. Dang it. Dang it. I'm frustrated. <laughs> Oh, we can actually play that next turn. That's actually pretty good. So now we can go Signet into Ophio. Next turn we can go Gideon into Dark Slick, and then we can play Amiria's Call the turn after that. Interesting. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm the scat man. So now we can. Are they gonna make a food or crack a clue? They made a food. I feel like Amiris calls me an instant or six mana. Really? It's just like a free spell on a land. Six mana for two four fours? That's wild. You live in crazy town. Angels ain't worth what they used to be. Dang. I thought it was weird that the angels don't get indestructible either. I was like, why don't, why aren't they strong?
I think they have a lot of options here, I imagine. But we have two death touch creatures that could just eat some things. Yeah, making a food here seems uh, like the only logical option, considering otherwise you're just going to lose that guy. They have five cards in hand? Like, what are their cards? I don't understand. That was a... I mean, they, they drew a bunch of cards off Tireless Tracker, but... I mean, that was still pretty good. They also have played a land this turn, so I have to find a way to deal with this Nissa before it flips. I don't have a way to deal with Nissa. We could just Amiria's Call. That seems okay. Okay, we found a way to do it, I guess. I guess we found a way to do it. Let's go one, two, three. So now they're dead doing Amiria's call. <laughs> I mean, they have six cards in hand. How much mana do they have? Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. They could crater hoof here. It doesn't kill anything though. They could woodfall primus kill Gideon. Ugin minus five. That's pretty good. I mean, we do get to kill the Ugin. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, we're not going to waste that. We can just actually kill the Ugin. The question is, do we make a 3-3? I don't think so. That's pretty good. Sure, Elvish Mystic. Miria's call one, two. All right, I mean, this is lethal in the air. So like they have to have answers to any number of angels. We can also attack and draw two with Charter Course and then play a 5-5, five, five. Council's Judgment. We have lots of options here, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have nine total mana. They haven't played any red, white, or black cards yet, no. Cool. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, good. You get to Council's Judgment and make a Stone Coil for zero and then make me discard. This is nice. Yep, good times.
sure. Sure. <laughs> I mean, event treachery off the top next turn would be great. I mean, because right now we have Vindicate and Council's Judgment. We can also draw Ravenous Chupacabra, I guess. Obviously, discard Jace. That seems like a no-brainer. Going into combat. Eat an angel. Sounds good. Oh, like you played it for zero. Good job. Oh, boy. I feel like you're getting rid of a food. Or an Elvish Mystic. Probably an Elvish Mystic, actually. Yeah, this is this is not going to work the way you think it works, Chief. Oh boy. They're like, "Oh, how come it won't let me vote?" <laughs> Cuz that's not how that card works. Votes for Elvish Mystic. Okay. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Two, th three, four. Hmm. Interesting. Let's take Crater Hoof and do that next turn. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Renin six? Sure, that's fine. We're going to take it and assume that Crater Hoof can do some damage here. What is this? Four, five, six. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I can't imagine they have counter spells. We know they have Ren and Six and four other cards. I don't know their cards, though. Oh, yeah, also the Death Touch creature. It's like he's just going to deal four to the face no matter what. Regrowth getting back Ugin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Do they have a land or did they miscount? One? No. One? 
Vindicate. Okay. Sure. This deck seems extremely greedy. Let's see what you got. Even if they have like lightning helix, they still go to 10 and then they take 11 because this only blocks one. So, gaudy. <laughs> I don't think we're boarding anything in. I think we're fine without Wrath. They didn't have a ton of creatures. But for those on YouTube and for those on Twitch, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll pause it. But if it just jumps to the game, that's why. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Oof. Big oofs. Okay, we'll dismember their tireless tracker. And then we'll mana leak their next thing, and then we'll jace. It's okay, we're getting... We're gonna get it. Oh, dear. Oof. Fast spawn into one land is always like, but why? So now they have four lands. Goodbye, little Golos, put you in the garbage can. Might as well make a pack rat with all my untapped land. Next turn we're gonna play Jason, draw some cards here. Yeah. Okay, that's a Nahiri. Mm, finale into the garbage. Okay, okie dokie. Are you saying oof because I countered their Golos? I can understand. Oh, they got the Golos back. Guess who's back? Unforgiving, unbelievable. How you leaving? How you gonna leave? I mean, we're just gonna play Jace here, because... Well, I guess they could attack it, couldn't they? Shut up and take my money! Unforgiving. We're gonna do it for you, buddy. It's gonna happen. I don't want them to attack my Jace and get a free hit with our Raging Ravine, so we're just gonna chart a course. I'm actually not sure if I dismember or if I Elspeth. I think we're dismembering because reasons. Yeah, that's fine. The 
problem is Dismember deals with Raging Ravine. We'll hit an untapped land. We didn't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well. One, two, portal. One, two, signet. Oh, nope, not doing that. I guess we can go... I guess I can dismember this guy with these two. It's fine. I mean, Elspeth getting the Nahiri is pretty nice. And then we get to get the Golos back if we... Well, you know what I'm saying here. boot doot boot 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 Yeah, we knew that. I mean, we knew that was going to happen as well. Channel, huh? Okie dokie. Oh, boy. I mean, we get to Elspeth of whatever they channel here? Yep, that's pretty sweet. And next turn, if we hit a land, we get to go Baleful Strix and Jace or Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, these are fine. Sure. Sure. It's actually course of portal here. So the reason I'm playing Baleful Strix is if they want to get rid of the Elspeth Conqueror's death, I do want to be able to attack Elspeth. So, so if they want to go to one, get rid of Elspeth Conqueror's death, then we can kill the, the Nahiri. I said Elspeth, I meant Nahiri. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> this is a good play because they're trying to see if we'll block and... I don't think we will. I mean, I'll go to six here. You have two cards and one mana, so... You're either going to get rid of Elspeth Conqueror's Death and we get to kill Nahiri and play like... Something else. Huh. The problem is this guy's lethal now. What did you ask? 
Are you having the same problem I am when I'm to Germany regards to basic lands? They're all in one giant pile? No, I, I have not noticed that. But also, they're this, they are the same lands. I think we just plus. Because otherwise we die to Raging Ravine, right? So. Uh, no, you can keep that. Time to dig into it and see what the issue is. Gonna get rid of that bayou. I mean, you know, they have Nahiri, so they're getting to loot. But, like, if we leave a good card on top, then they just get to see two good cards rather than one good card, so. Reveals forest, forest. So we need to have a forest in hand. Okay, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Just Scarab God? I feel like it's Ophiomancer course of portal here. That can go back. Let's get rid of Nahiri. Well, I'll put her to two anyway. I mean, we know they have one forest and one blank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight mana for Scarab God and something else. Uh, I have seen the wipe option on Portal done a couple times, yes. There's the forests, and I have two randos. Okay, this is all fine. Homage. Homage. Man, I had no idea that guy was on the top. Draw two. Well, draw three. Gideon seems nice. Uh, this also lets us play Amiria's Call next turn. So one, two, three, four, five. So we have seven total mana. Actually, okay, so if we play Dark Slick Shores next turn, we'll have Hollowed Fountain and we'll have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually Scarab God to get back, like, Golos. Maybe that's better. I think Dark Slick Shores is probably better here, yeah. So we can put this back and put Sphinx on top. I don't even know if it's worth attacking Nahiri here. Because if they activate Raging Ravine, it's I just don't want the like like this is a lot of power. So we can block here, block here, take four. They can't actually trade Nahiri for portal because 
Oh, uh, it has to be a tapped artifact from Nahiri, so. Yeah, the only untapped thing you can target with Nahiri is enchantments. Yep. I think I still have four minutes and 25 seconds to win this game and the next game. I'm pretty sure we just... I'm pretty sure we're 3 0 here. They have no cards in hand. Finale seems good. Yeah, there you go. Get that finale. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I wonder what they're finaleing for. Next time they can finale for Crater Hoof, but I guess they're not going to wait. Did they just maximize? They're like, I'll get whatever right Courser? That's what you got? Man, surprised they didn't just like wait a turn. Yep, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh uh, yeah, I think this game's way over. Oh wow. 3-0 finally broke the curse. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. We're gonna open this this treasure chest right now. Hopefully you guys will consider subscribing. We have three treasure chests? Let's open them all. What do we got? Oh, a pack of Eldrain, an Omniscience, 35 play points, an Oriok Windwalker, okay, and a Caged Sun. I don't think any of these are worth anything, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to head over to twitch.tv and subscribe if you can support it. Uh, it's a great way to support the content you're watching right now, and uh, it's one of the few ways I make money on the internet, so... Hopefully you guys will consider supporting that. And um, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. What we got here? Aetherhub, Fated Intervention, Primal Command, Rakshasa Vizier, Nice Vindicate, and a Mystic Skyfish. Wow. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys.